the data set we're going to use comes from Data is Plural, a pretty cool mailing list that publishes data sets almost every week. And um, what we're going to look at is this carbon pricing data set. So they have a world carbon pricing database. It's hosted on GitHub here. And you can see uh, that there are a ton of different files. We'll look at uh, national files. So you can see each of these CSVs exist for every country. So what I've done is I've downloaded all of these CSVs and I'm gonna load them into Gigasheet and do some analysis. So the first thing that I wanna do is upload the files. So you can see here, I created a zip for A through K, L through T, and U through Z for the countries outlined in this, this data set. So what I'll do is upload these three zip files. Gigasheet will take a minute or two to process these. And if you go into the folder for each archive, you can see that the files are still coming in and loading. So I'll let this load for a couple minutes. So it's been about five minutes and Gigasheet has loaded more than 200 CSVs into the platform. Uh, we can just take a look at what it looks like here. And you'll see, looks like a CSV. We've got some data about um, CO2 emissions in here. So if we go back to our library, the next thing that I'm gonna do here is combine all of these 200-some uh, files into a single CSV so we can analyze global CO2 emissions. So to do that, I'll select all the files in this folder, the A through K archive, and I'll hit the Combine Files button, and I'll call this uh, A through K, and I'll hit Save. It'll take a second to process, and then we should see a new CSV appear in the folder. Here it is. I'll do this for each of the archives as well. Now, a couple of important points that I want to make. First of all, I'm using the free account here uh, on Gigasheet. So everything that you see here you can be done for free. The other thing that's very important when using combined files is you'll notice all these rows and columns line up exactly. So every file has the same rows, columns, and importantly, data types of each column. If your files don't match exactly, this likely won't work. Um, there are tools at Gigasheet where you can convert column data types and rearrange columns to organize your data, but obviously if you have a very large set of files, it can be a bit tedious. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, next, what I'm going to do is move these all into the top level directory um, and combine the three archive, uh, the three merged archive files here. And now I'll combine each of these into a new master file. Okay, and it looks like we've got 2 million rows of data and 10 columns. Perfect. Now we can do some analysis on global CO2 emissions. Actually, I'm going to rename this. I'll hit save. So the first thing I might want to do is group all of this by year so that I can see where we've got data. So I can see it goes up to 2022, and um, in each of these, it looks like we have data, a similar number of rows. That's what this is showing is the row count here. And then, of course, we've got other data within it. Next, um, let's group by country. So I'll add another grouping. So I've got all the countries here listed. I could inspect any of them. Um, let's look at the United States. Great, so I've got some codes, uh, other product information, and a bunch of other data. Um, if you refer back to the 
global carbon emissions database. They have lots of information about what each of these codes mean. But for example, I might want to do another grouping on product. So now I can see NA, coal, oil, and natural gas. I can also rearrange these groups. For example, maybe I want to group first by product, then by uh, jurisdiction, and then by year. So if I'm interested in just coal, in uh, maybe let's do 2022, and then broken out by, by country, I can see that here. I could also look at um, data, for example, if there are any uh, blanks in this data set. In this case, they're all populated. Um, I could also do some other calculations and aggregations here. But this is how you combine files to work with really large data sets in Gigasheet. Hope it's helpful. Thanks. Mm -hmm.